Hi, my name's David, and welcome to Cedar Grove Aquaponics. Uh, today, we're going to take that airlift pump behind me and hitch it up. We have the pump ordered and here and ready to go. And I'm going to plumb her up, fire her up, and see if it works. And uh, we'll see what type of flow rates we get. Here's the basic concept from Glenn Martinez. You can see on the left, the blue is a one-way check valve. When I purchased it, it had a spring in it. I took the spring out upon the advice of Glenn's website. Uh, then it goes 45 degree up. The nozzle is uh, where you see the garden hose will go in and the air from the air pump will pump in. And then as we'll see in assembly here today, we'll go to a one inch pipe up. Here's an example of the bottom of the airlift pump with the air pump attached. That's a Heiko 40 liter per minute pump and I'm hoping that will give me the flow rate that I desire. As you can see I made one modification to Glenn Martinez's design. You see the black box there, that's a regular pump that I've plumbed into the one inch pipe. It has a check valve. That's my backup. So if the airlift pump doesn't work, I could crank on the normal pump and off she goes. I've been using that normal pump for about two and a half weeks now to get my system cycled until I could uh, test out the air pump, the airlift pump today. The airlift pump is installed with the backup. Here's the one inch up pipe to the assembly on top. So we will get this plugged in, get us a bucket, and time our flow rate. Okay, plugged it in, and right away. Well, didn't know water was supposed to come out the top, so we'll have to investigate and learn about that. The flow rate seems to be pretty good. That's amazing how it just fired up and started flowing straight away. So this is a learn as you go process. Earlier I had a short standpipe on the top and the water was bubbling out. I just put a taller stack pipe on there and no water coming out the top. Ooh, maybe just a little bit. That's not too bad. I could live with that. So I'm going to get a uh, calculator a timer and let's calculate this flow rate. Okay, the experiment is underway. Seems to be picking up steam as it gets going.
We'll add four seconds because I hit the stop button and had to restart. Well, according to my calculations, that was uh, 2.3 gallons per minute or 138 gallons per hour. Just off the top of my head, I don't think that's going to be enough since I think that little pump does 250 to 300 gallons per hour. So let me research. I'll let you guys research and we'll take it from there. I believe I fixed the problem. I took this pipe right here and made it longer. And we don't seem to have any splashing out the top. So now let's see if I can get some flow rates with this and it'll keep my beds running. A little bit noisy, but it's comforting. 